become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding hi everybody golden era bookworm here and unfortunately today is another sad day for both the bodybuilding and star wars community as david prowse the original actor of the star wars trilogy has passed away and reports from the UK are saying that he passed away after a two-week battle with the virus. Here is a print screen from The Sun with the story, and yet, yeah, this is really sad and disturbing news. However, although quite a sad day, I would like to pay homage to David Prowse, who was another bodybuilding pioneer that paved the way for many other bodybuilders to come, such as Arnold Schwarzenegger, who later became actors. Similar to Sean Connery, who also recently passed away, may he rest in peace, David Prowse was a bodybuilder and champion British weightlifter prior to taking on the famous role of Darth Vader, and in today's video, I would like to talk about his old school bodybuilding routine and how he built himself to the impressive physique we can see in these photos. As well, I, I want to talk about his strength feats, I mean this guy was super super strong and a strong man. And yeah, I, I wish to celebrate the wonderful and extraordinary life of David Prowse. Enjoy. Born in 1935, David Prowse was a strong, healthy and athletic boy who by the age of 14 was already 5 foot 9 inches in height and was very keen on athletics and excelled in sprinting at school. However, a knee injury put him in hospital after which he lost a lot of weight and became rather weak. After a year in hospital, his height shot up to 6 foot 3 inches at 15 years of age and by the age of 17 he only weighed 12 stone which is the equivalent of 170 pounds or 76 kilograms which meant that he was pretty thin for his height so yeah I mean he was pretty thin for his height. He had a 36 inch chest and his arms were only 11 inches flexed. Then after seeing a photo of Mr. France Robert Duranton on the cover of Health and Strength magazine, David became interested in bodybuilding. His starting overhead press was only 80 pounds, whilst his bench press was 90 pounds, but he was to grow into one of the strongest men in Britain at the time in only a few years. He initially began training in several weightlifting clubs and 18 months after he bought his own weights and constructed his own gym. What is notable about David Prowse is that all these physique photos you're going to see today is the product of him training mostly in his home gym. That's right, David Prowse developed this very athletic and aesthetic physique as well as his incredible strength by training at home. He soon began entering physique contests, with the first contest being the 1955 West Britain Area Show and later the ABC TV Adonis Contest, and later was invited to compete in the NABM 1960 Mr Universe competition where he competed at a body weight of 250 pounds at a height of 6 foot 7 which is about 2 meters tall as shown in this photo. His best measurements were as follows. Again, his height was 6 foot 7 inches or 2 meters, 250 pounds in weight, with a chest of 51 inches, arms of 18 inches, thighs of 27 inches, and calves of 18 inches. A very impressive physique. David's popularity as a bodybuilder grew in the 1960s when he was continually invited to enter physique contests and began to be featured on the cover of many many muscle mags including the British muscle mag magazine Health and Strength as shown here. At his peak, David trained 5-6 to six times a week, training 3-4 to four full body workouts per week, with the remaining days specializing on weak points in his physique. From an article I read in Health and Strength magazine from 1959, he states that he would change his routine fairly frequently, and here are some of the exercises he included in his program regularly, and the kind of poundages that he could handle, which I have to admit are very very impressive. Understand that he did all of this just training at home, that's what I find most impressive. He developed his incredible physique, his strength as well, all at home. 
bent arm pullovers, three sets of eight repetitions using a poundage of 200 to 250 pounds, yet he could handle a maximum poundage on the bent arm pullover of 280 pounds, extremely strong. For the incline bench press, he would perform three sets of eight repetitions using 200 pounds. For the bench press, he would perform three sets of eight repetitions with 250 to 300 pounds. For the bent over row, he would do three sets of eight repetitions with 200 pounds. He would also include the single arm dumbbell press, performing three sets of six repetitions using 90 up to 100 pound dumbbells. And for the squat, he would perform three sets of 10 repetitions using a poundage of 330 pounds. David Prowse was not only able to develop an athletic and aesthetic physique, but he was extremely strong. Here are a list of some of his best lifts. Prowse was able to incline bench press 250 pounds as his maximum weight. His best bench press was 390 pounds. He could deadlift, and this was the British record, mind you, 674 pounds, or almost 675 actually, was 674 and three quarter pounds. His best squat was 370 pounds. He could also perform an overhead press with 240 pounds and a strict barbell curl with 202 pounds. Yes, he was a very, very strong man. Due to his impressive strength, David Prowse went on to compete and win the British Heavyweight Weightlifting Championships in 1962, 1963 and 1964. This guy was a true, true superman. He became a strongman thereafter, competing and winning the Scottish Highland Games Championships and he was the first person to lift the Dinny Stones weighing almost 800 pounds. This, was, this guy was truly, truly strong. And again, what I find most impressive is that he developed his incredible strength as well as his physique by training at home. Here's a great photo of David Prowse at 27 years of age at his prime, training in his home for the British Empire Games that were held in Perth, Australia in the 1960s, I believe. David Prowse even tried his hand at becoming a muscle magazine publisher in the late 1960s when he started the British magazine titled Power, Fitness, Health, Sport, featuring covers of greats such as Steve Reeves and Vince Gironda, and even himself as featured in this issue. I have to admit, this particular cover is awesome. I love this photo here of David Prowse. He just looks like such a man, you know, I mean, he's got those wide shoulders, that fantastic V taper. And uh, yeah, I mean, very aesthetic, the lines on his legs, it's, it's just very, very aesthetic and pleasing um, to look at. Understand that this guy was two meters tall. That's what I also find very impressive. It's very hard for bodybuilders who are very tall to develop aesthetic physiques. Yet David Prowse was able to do this at home. That's what's incredible. I mean, just look at the guy. Fantastic wide shoulders, V taper, those lats are just flaring out, coming down beautifully uh, to his waist. And you know, his legs are not overdone, you, they're shapely, you can see the separation in his thighs. He developed a beautiful physique. Later, of course, David Prowse would go on to star as Darth Vader in the original Star Wars trilogy, as well as several other films. He was also known as the Green Cross Code Man in the late 1970s, where he preached road safety. Deservingly so, David Prowse was later appointed member of the Order of the British Empire for services to charity and to road safety in the 2000 New Year Honours. Such was the extraordinary life of David Prowse, bodybuilder and British weightlifting champion, muscle mag publisher, famous movie actor portraying Darth Vader, road safety superhero, and a member of the Order of the British Empire. Wow, I mean, Dave truly lived a long, healthy, and blessed life. So I do hope you have enjoyed my tribute to David Prowse. May you rest in peace, sir, and thank you for all your contributions to humanity. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and please share. To support this channel, donate via PayPal or to my Bodybuilding Museum campaign, become a patron or visit my website for how to print books and courses on old school bodybuilding. That's it from me. This is the Golden Era Bookworm saying bye for now and may the force be with you. To take full advantage of my collaboration with Old School Labs, please visit their website and choose from their marvelous range of supplements using my code bookworm12. 
and for an entertaining look at the history of bodybuilding's supplement industry, I would highly recommend watching Subs the Movie, which I have collaborated in, available at Amazon Prime and Vimeo.